Today we are going to talk about why you should prepay your assigned gratuities. Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Welcome back to La Lida Loca. My name's Tony. If you enjoy cruise and travel content, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these cruise tips, cruise updates, and cruise vlogs. Okay, look, we all want to have an easy cruise. We're all looking for hacks, things that we can do in advance to make our cruise easier. And I would say the number one thing that you can do to make your cruise easier, at least from a stress in your mind perspective, is pay as much stuff as you can in advance. There's all kinds of things that you can pay in advance, but one thing I would recommend that you pay in advance is the assigned gratuity. Prepay your gratuities. Let me give you a few reasons why. First, if you're brand new to cruising, if this is a new concept to you, let me explain what the assigned gratuity is. Part of the way that the cruise line pays their crew, particularly food and beverage people, people who uh, clean your cabin, is through an assigned gratuity. The way this works in practicality is you go on the cruise ship, you set up your onboard shipboard account that your charges are gonna go to, and if you've done nothing in advance, uh, every few days, it could be on the daily, it could be at the end of your cruise, depending on the cruise line, you're gonna see a charge put on your bill that says, assigned gratuity or it may say service charge uh, this is a tip like you hear these things called tips it's a gratuity and these range anywhere between 14 to 17 dollars a day it just depends on the cruise line you want you want to check with your particular cruise line to see what the daily assigned gratuity is but this is uh, this is your gratuity this is your tip that you're paying the person who cleans your room that you're paying the people that work in the main dining room that you're paying the people that work in the buffet and and you're even paying some people behind the scenes. So this uh, sign gratuity goes a long way to making sure that the crew on the cruise ship uh, gets their money. And you can do it a couple ways. Again, you can go on the cruise ship, uh, not think anything about it, and have it added to your bill. The big challenge there is that at the end of your cruise, you've got to reconcile that bill. And so if you weren't really planning or thinking about the assigned gratuities, this could be an extra, you know, 100, depending how many people you're cruising with, this could be 100 or $200 worth of charges that you weren't anticipating. And if you've had a great time, if you've, uh, if you've gone way outside your budget, this could be stressful. And it's interesting uh, they will hold you on the cruise ship if you cannot pay your bill I don't know if you know this or not there's a few ways to pay your bill on the cruise ship you can pay with cold hard cash obviously you can put a credit or a debit card you could even pay with gift cards but the reality is if you get to the end of the cruise and you're getting ready to walk off the cruise ship and they scan your card and you're flagged that you haven't paid all of your bills uh, they're going to pull you out of line. They're going to hold you. They're going to they're going to make you reconcile that bill. Uh, we talked to one person in our cruising community who didn't have the money to pay her bill. They held her on the cruise ship for quite a while, and then she had to like do a whole promissory note just to make sure that she could get her bill paid. So uh, it could be a hassle, especially when you're wanting to get off the cruise ship. And so again, this goes back to the idea that you want to make sure that you uh, have enough money, or you want to make sure that you've paid uh, as many things in advance as possible. So yeah, I'm going to advocate for pre-paying your gratuity. You can do this at the time of booking or you can do this uh, anytime before you're sailing. It's a pretty cool concept. The cruise lines let you just add it to the bill. You don't have to pay it all at once. So if you're booking on your own, you get to the end of the booking, you can hit the button that says assign my gratuities and then your total just goes up. So say you put down a $50 or a $500 deposit and uh, the gratuities just get added on on top of that, which makes it super convenient. Same thing if you're working with a travel agent, they're gonna ask you, would you like to put the gratuities on there? And again, some people like to pay them in advance. Some people like to pay them on the cruise ship. Uh, me personally, I like to pay them in advance just because I like my cruising experience to be almost as all-inclusive as possible. Uh, if there's a drink package that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna buy that in advance. Uh, if it's a coffee package that I can buy in advance, I'm gonna do that. Even my 
excursions. I would rather pay for all of that in advance then I don't really have to worry about money when I'm on the cruise ship. But I do have one exception, one time that I probably would not prepay the gratuity. But before I tell you that, I did a little poll in our communities. We have the La Lita Loca cruising community on Facebook. Uh, well over 10,000 cruisers over there talking cruising on a daily basis. I would invite you to come over there and join that. And then we also have the YouTube community here. I put a poll in both of them. I asked how many people prepay their gratuities uh, I haven't looked at the results yet. We're gonna look at it together. What do you anticipate? What do you anticipate the results to be? Okay, so check it out right over here. 204 votes, 174 people saying yes. A majority of people on the Facebook group saying yes, they do prepay. On the YouTube community, 211 votes and 80% of those people prepay the gratuities. Again, so if you're new to cruising, trying to figure out this whole gratuity thing, just know that the majority of cruisers prepay their gratuities so that they can get it out of the way. But for me, there is one situation where I might not prepay my gratuity, and that depends whether or not I have a significant amount of onboard credit. Many times when you book with a travel agent or you book with a group or you catch a special on the cruise line, you're going to get this stuff called onboard credit. And basically what onboard credit is, is it is a credit to that ship account. We talked about it in the beginning. You set up this thing to be billed. It's just a bill. Like you can look at it on your TV, boom, 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 all your charges. And now you got a big total at the bottom. Well, the cool thing, if you have onboard credit, it's just going to deduct that from your total. So say you're not going to spend a lot of money on your cruise say you prepaid most everything and you haven't prepaid your gratuities because you know you got a couple hundred dollars of onboard credit well yeah just let those assigned gratuities hit your bill and let your onboard credit take care of it now you want to check with your travel professional you want to check with your cruise line to make sure that your onboard credit can be used for those charges not in every circumstance can onboard credit be used for everything, but yes, there are times where your onboard credit can be used for your gratuities, and if that's the case, I wouldn't prepay the gratuity. Now, there is a lot more to say about tipping. There's a lot more to say about gratuities. Uh, some people, in addition to their assigned gratuities, they like to give extra. Uh, if you go to the bar, for example, on many cruise lines, they're gonna automatically add 15%, 18%, but they're also gonna give you the opportunity to tip more. You wanna be aware of that, that they're asking you to tip more. The same thing, a lot of times when you're interacting with your room steward at the end of the cruise, there's gonna be this sense that maybe you could tip more and that's a personal choice if you want to tip more tip more but at the minimum if you paid the assigned gratuity you've kind of met your obligation for what it means to actually uh, help pay the workers on the cruise ship so you shouldn't feel bad if you only do your assigned gratuities uh, but again if you have it if you feel generous if you feel like you got the service that you wanted you can also tip extra by taking cash giving it to your room steward giving it to somebody in the dining room giving it to anybody on the cruise that you felt like gave really outstanding service for you and honestly these are some of the hardest working people you will ever encounter always there to try to make your vacation experience supreme so let me throw the question over to you what do you do when it comes to assign gratuities do you prepay do you just let it hit your account when you're on the cruise ship what are some of the secrets that you like to employ share it out there with the community now remember again at the end of the day what you do with your gratuities is up to you nothing's mandatory you have full control if you want to see some more videos about tipping i have a playlist here and we have lots of cruise tip videos here on La Lita Loca. I'm going to leave some of my favorites uh, linked in a playlist down below. Please show your support for the channel by hitting the like button. Don't forget to consider subscribing. I'm Tony with La Lita Loca and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.